Hello, my name is Jakubas and today I will introduce you a new cut opening collaboration workflow from the architect to MEP engineer and then back to the architect. So the usual um, cut opening workflow was uh, the created architectural model was sent or somehow um, was dropped to MEP engineer. Uh, he used uh, cut opening, made the clash detection, uh, exported the XML file uh, with some um, internal offsets, uh, joining distances, etc. And he was sending it back to the architect and then the architect should insert the openings then. But uh, today we added new workflow and uh, we can insert uh, openings by our cell, by MEP engineer cell, uh, check the locations of the openings uh, regard regarding to the architect uh, model, uh, make some changes if needed, and uh, all the changes could be sent directly to the architect's model, the new cut opening feature to export uh, new position and sizes of openings as XML file. So X, that new XML file could be sent to the architect and then architect will receive all precise openings, uh, not just the simple ones, but uh, with all movements, uh, changes, etc. And he will be able to insert openings like before and uh, see the changes, uh, see the changes that was made by MEP engineer. So let's get Let's get to the Revit and uh, to the architectural model. So here we have a simple arc model that could be sent to our MEP engineer. So I saved the model. I'm going to create new uh, new email and I will attach I will attach um, architectural model to it. So you can see that it is uh, just sent simply to uh, my colleague's email and uh, after he will get it, um, he can just save the model on his, um, I don't know, on his path, let it be desktop. So I'm saving that and I'm closing my um, Outlook. So right now I'm going to close the architectural model to show you how this is working. And I'm going to open new, just brand new send architectural model from my colleague, for example. So I'm opening it and I have brand new model over there. So I'm going to link my, um, link my MEP model into it. Okay, I have only ventilation, for example, and I am going to read the interference uh, between walls and the ventilation project ducts. And I'm exporting that as new HTML file and let it be today's date. And then I'm going to read that file with my some configurations that I have inside uh, full interference required, etc, uh, etc. Et I'm clicking OK and I'm exporting this as uh, a new XML file with the name of today's date. I'm closing this. I'm going to insert elements into the model by my XML file and clicking OK and I'm inserting them. So I have 14 elements to insert and I have auto joining element. I'm closing this dialog block and uh, I can see that I have auto joined openings. I have um, really nicely sized openings in accordance to my um, to my configuration but uh, if I want to make changes for those elements like I can change the width of the elements 
I can change for this as well the width. Um, I can move it left or right. It doesn't matter. I, I can I can I can do any changes for my model. I can just simply change the offset, make it bigger, make it smaller. It it doesn't matter. So I have. I have made some changes to my MEP model, to my architectural and MEP model clashes and openings. So right now I'm going to insert modify uh, MEP openings and I'm browsing for the same file uh, when I saved it uh, as the XML. I'm opening it. I'm clicking next. And uh, as you can see, I have some changes here. So I have changed cut offset, I have changed dimensions, I have changed position and size. I'm going here to agree with last changes of cut offset. To agree with last changes of change dimension. And I'm agreeing the last changes of position and size. Agree. And right now you can see that we do not have uh, new things over there. So we can check the model. Uh, the model is still the same as I did. The cut offsets are changed, the position is changed, and the size is changed. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to export new XML file only for positions of uh, and sizes of the openings and I will name it updated XML. I'm saving that. Yeah, so I save that. Uh, I can I can place my this project on my desktop. Let it be here. With openings on my computer and I'm sending that XML file to the real architectural a uh, guy who will insert the real openings to the real architectural model. He has only the architectural model and he's using the cut opening solution. He's browsing for updated file, like with all changes in position and uh, in everything. And I'm opening it, I'm clicking next as the architect and I'm inserting them into the model. So right now I see only 12 elements because I have to auto join before I'm clicking close and let's check the model this is bigger this is bigger and I hope it is change position uh, this is smaller and this is bigger than it was before so the offset is 100 here should be the offset 0 here should be B500 and B500. Yes, so this is how you can do um, openings. You can create openings and calibrate in between architect and MEP engineer. So thank you for watching.